Welcome to Studio 10. The 2019-2020 school year is one that we will never forget. The COVID-19 pandemic has nearly impacted every business, person, and school. Alma Bryant teacher David Dye is a state finalist for Teacher of the Year, and he joins us this morning. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? I'm doing well. Thanks for joining us this morning. We want to talk about what kind of teacher you are at Alma Bryant High School. We know it's a passion of yours. Yes, so I had the opportunity to uh, teach Algebra 1, uh, Algebraic Connections, and Discrete Math this year. Um, and just kind of thinking about that COVID-19 perspective, uh, once we transition to uh, you know, remote learning, it's definitely been a challenge trying to reach all of our students equitably. Yeah, so we definitely want to talk about that COVID-19 specifically for your students and your school. This is just such an odd thing that we've never seen before. How was teaching and that transition from the classroom one week to home for months the next week? Yeah, so I think in the classroom, something that all teachers can relate to is that we build a relationship with our students that allows us to really uh, understand whether or not they understand the content, um, how we're delivering the content uh, through our instruction, and whether or not it's working. And in a remote setting, whether you're video chatting or recording video and having the kids watch it um, asynchronously, I think we lose that aspect of uh, the relationships that we've built with our kids. And so we really can't um, accurately assess their understanding. And so, you know, from being in the classroom to shifting to online or uh, TV lessons. It, it's been a huge challenge, um, but I think all of us um, are going to be better teachers as a result of it. I think all of our students are going to be more prepared uh, the next school year if we were to face something like this again. And so, you know, kind of looking on the bright side of things, I think we're all a little bit more tech savvy uh, as a result of uh, having to make this transition in the spring. Tech savvy is definitely the word for that. I think students and teachers are that. Now we want to talk about your backstory, how you got to Alma Bryant High School, and also your passion for teaching. Yes, yeah, so my parents were both immigrants uh, from Vietnam, and they immigrated to the United States in California, but there's a huge Vietnamese uh, community in Battery, and so we had some family down here, and my parents decided to move down uh, to Battery, and I attended Alma Bryant, graduated in 2012, and from there, I went to the University of Alabama, and when I decided to become an education major, you know, one of the big things for me was being able to return home and give back to my community. And so, when the opportunity presented itself a couple of years ago, uh, Mr. Estel, uh, the principal at Alma Bryant, decided to bring me back on, and uh, you know, the journey has been uh, surreal ever since. And so. It's been a pleasure for me to give back to my community. Um, being the only Asian teacher at Bryant, I think, uh, gives me a unique perspective on how I can uh, really connect with our students uh, down in that community. Which is so important in this day and time. Now we want to talk about how you feel about being a state finalist for Alabama Teacher of the Year. I know it's such a surprise, but probably well-deserved as well. So what are the next steps? Um, so as far as I understand next steps to be, I think from the top 16, they're going to choose a final four, two secondary teachers, uh, two elementary teachers for interviews. And then once interviews have been conducted, uh, they're going to select the state uh, teacher of the year uh, who then is going to move on to nationals. So, you know, fingers crossed, uh, but I know every other nomination is well deserved across the state. And, you know, whoever the State Department decides on is going to be a worthwhile representation for the state of Alabama. Well, David, we are so proud of you. We know that Alma Bryant is proud of you as well as the school, as well as the school system too. So thank you for all that you do in the classroom and at home now because of COVID-19 and best of luck to you in the future. Thank you, Chelsea.